Hi everybody, um, I finally decided to chime in here and make a video for this channel. Um, uh, I'm going to title these um, Memories of Bert uh, Wilson. Um, I don't know how long they'll be. I'm going to try to keep this one not too long to start off, as I do have a lot of stuff to go through, and we're still going through stuff. So, um... <clears throat> I'm not doing video montages or things um, like everyone else is doing. I'm just basically going to sit here and talk about everything that I knew. Um, or memories of Bird and pictures. I'm going to try to find... I'm still going through some of my home movies of the tour to find some new footage and show all of my uh, pictures from Florida <clears throat> from five years ago. Um, and some things to uh, start doing uh, Memories of Bert. So the next however many videos are going to be all dedicated to him. And again, I'm not sure how long this will go. Um, so, <clears throat> but just like watch each video um, because you may see pictures and maybe some stuff through it. So you don't want to miss something because um, you can't always tell by this uh, picture icon on here. But mostly it's just going to be me talking. So I'm going to go through. Um, this is... Um, this is Thursday. This is a week to the day that he's passed. So it's been a week already. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have been, I mean, I have had an outpouring on Facebook. I can't even believe it. I've had, <clears throat> I'll just explain what happened. How did I find out in my story? I've been asked a lot of questions. I'll just try to answer everything I can remember. People have been asking me, get kind of caught up. But um, <clears throat> so last Thursday, sorry, I've got a cold. I'm still trying to get over a cold. Last Thursday, I was sick, and I had come home. I had a short day at work, and I was coming home to take cold medicine, and I ate, and I passed out. I woke up. I looked at my phone, and all of a sudden, I see Jeff Adams had posted something, and all of a sudden, I see this picture of Bert, and I'm like, and I started to read the thing, and it says, with a heart, a, a, a heavy heart, and I go, oh, no. I go, no, please, no, and... um because I wondered why I hadn't heard from him for over a week. As that was not unusual, but this time it was a little unusual for him. And I thought, oh no. So, of course, I see everyone had, um, a, I think, a different time and person they all heard this from. But I saw that, and Jeff Adams was on the Shannon Burke show with Bert for three years. So, I was still following him from the radio days. And I'm reading the thing, and I just immediately panicked, and I started going to Messenger, and I started calling him, because I thought, oh my gosh, no, what happened, what happened, there's no way. <clears throat> because I, I know he was not doing bad at all, and I'm thinking, what happened? So I called, couldn't, he wouldn't pick up, so then I messaged him, texted, like, message, and then he said, um, he told me that he said, the landlord found him dead in his bed that morning. And I'm thinking, why didn't I hear from anybody else? I'm like, who would I heard from? You know, and so then I called another fan, and they had already heard. And I uh, filled me in just a little bit that his assistant, Rosie, who he was working with and who had been seeing him up until, I don't know, the last day or, or when it was exactly, I still don't know had um maybe be the was the one that broke the news really um from the landlord called her um I don't know and then it spread I'm sure it went straight to his daughters and to his sister and I'm assuming his brother but I have not heard anything from him um so I guess that's probably what happened of course it spread all over the internet and everybody found out throughout that day and so, um, so knowing what I heard, you know, they said he died in his sleep. So it's true. Um, and then is when I then did a tribute on my Facebook page. I don't know how many people on here follow me on here and follow my, you, my Facebook page. So I did a tribute. I put pictures up from our tour. I wrote a thing. I tagged everybody I could, the cast. Uh, all the fans that followed me on Facebook, and I got such an outpouring, and then I called Aaron, I called Duke right away, because I didn't know if they knew, 
and I don't think they, I'm not sure if Aaron had already heard, but I, Duke had not, had not known, I don't know if he would have known if I hadn't told him, um, so, um, I just want to make sure, you know, so, just trying to figure it all out and understand it, so, I believe that he really did pass, um, peacefully in his sleep, he did, he did, he, uh, there was no pro, there was no, um, heart attack, there was no, he wasn't drunk, he wasn't, you know, it was just, it was his time to go. I, I really think his body was just worn out. Apparently, he hadn't been doing bad. He hadn't uh, been ill. He wasn't currently sick at that moment. I don't... Um, I had not heard from him before Christmas. I had texted him on Christmas Day, did not hear from him. I was a little surprised by that. I had seen he had been on the net a couple times with because I always have the notification bells on all the time so I can see if people are on and when they're on. And I'd seen that he'd been, I think, alive at least up until about two days before. And then I'd say by Tuesday, I never saw him on the internet again. So I think he just didn't get on. He was busy or something was going on around that time. So I, I don't know. Um, but that's how I found out. That is what happened to him and I've got a lot of people asking me, where is he? Is there going to be a funeral? There's no obituary. Uh, I don't know what the, his arrangements were. He never told me. So I'm assuming his daughter, Ashley, is taking care of that. Or maybe his sister, Stacy, is. I don't know. I don't talking to them. So I was never in contact with them. I didn't ever follow them. So I have no idea. And if I ever find out, I'll let you guys know. But I have no clue what's happened to him. Uh, even the radio crews have said they haven't heard of anything, uh, down in Florida. Well, you know, they haven't heard of any kind of arrangements. So I don't know if we'll ever know, uh, where he went, <laughs> where he went, you know. Um, so, um, I guess I did go to Ashley's Facebook page. I didn't know if she had had one currently. She doesn't let friends on there. She just had like, she has her, her business or something. And she just made one little statement so far, and that was all there was. Haley didn't have Facebook page anymore. Um, I don't know if uh, his son Josh, I don't know if he has Facebook. I didn't see anything from him, haven't heard of anything from him. And Stacy, I didn't look at her page at all. Um, I have no idea where, what's happened to Todd, his brother. I don't know what's hap where he's ended up. Last I heard, he was in, unfortunately, he was in a shack somewhere. Um <laughs> from what Bert told me, um, <clears throat> so, uh, that's, that's all I know, um, I was, last Tuesday, I spent probably 12 hours that day listening to the two radio tribute programs from Monsters in the Morning and the Shannon Burke Show, um, they were all very good, um, Monsters in the Morning was good, Jeff Howell was on there for four hours, um, and Savannah came on for about 10 minutes, she was about as upset as I was, just crying and bawling, and just, it, it was hard for her to even get through what she was saying, and she took it harder, she took it really hard, about as hard as I did, I'm getting a little better, um, I'm getting there, it's going to be a very slow process, people, I don't think people understood how good friends we were, I don't, I think till, till now, I don't think people understood Bert and I's friendship at all, I think people thought it was just an acquaintance here and there, but it wasn't, and I've realized that he really touched a lot of people in the same way, you know, a lot of other, I was one of the few of the fans that I think he got really close to. And, but, you know, when I heard a lot of the people on the radio talking about their friendship and uh, with him through the years, it sounded a lot like mine, you know, he just treated everyone a lot of the same and was interested in you and not just because you were a fan or you felt obligated, you know, he just was nice to everyone, whether he, you know, you knew him for five minutes or five years or 45 years. And, but I don't think a lot of fans knew that, that we were, you know, maybe closer than I probably made it to seem. I don't know, but now, you know, um, so that's why I took it really hard. I've, um, you know, I haven't had very many friends in my life and to have a phone friend for five years and then to have also spent time with that person for, um, a week, 
you know, those friendships, they can still last a lifetime and they can make an impact on you. And he was one of those kind of guys that he just, you'd never forget him. And it hurts every time I hear a song, whether it's his song or a rock fire song, I start to cry. Every time I look at pictures of him, I start to get upset because I'm so upset that I'm not going to get to speak to him again. <laughs> And, uh, you know, you got to be real on here. You know, I got to, I, you know, I'm not here to, to, you know, um, get anyone else upset, but I, I want everyone to understand, um, you know, how, how this has made us feel, not just cause he was fat and showbiz, you know, it was more than that. So for some, that's all it is, you know, and some people don't understand at all cause they didn't know him really, really well. And I did, and I'm really glad I did get to help some fans, um, get to meet him talk to him in the last three four months I'm really glad because he loved that and he told me he loved talking to the new fans and to other people and to spend time with them and whatever it was he loved that he always loved having a lot of friends and a lot of people around him he loved a crowd he loved performing he was a true old-fashioned vaudeville entertainer type showman that you don't see that much anymore and um but, you know, it, that's what hurts is I can't talk to him. I can't tell him stuff anymore. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to get these random calls at midnight, you know. And uh, I remember the beginning when we first became friends and I was still, I had just started meeting Duke too. I would get calls between nine and midnight. I'd be like, which one is it? Which one is it? Is it Duke or Bert, you know? And they'd call to bug me on purpose just to be funny, you know. And, and um or wake me up in the early morning because they knew I'd leave my phone turned on, knowing they'd call any time, and they'd wake me up at 6 o'clock, and they'd go, are you awake? <laughs> you know, just like how you think they would be when you see them in these old home movies is exactly how they still were. And um, that I'm going to miss with Bert. I'm going to miss it a lot. And that's why it hurts more than normal is, um, is that's how he was with a lot of people. You know, and if you did listen to the radio tributes, you got that completely. Um, that's why I posted that video. So in case people wanted to hear and find out about him more, I could make 200 videos and, you know, it, it, it get old after a bit. Um, but um, I wanted to share that. I don't know, um, unfortunately, where we go forward with with anything here. Besides tributes to Bert, I mean, I'm still going to do FNAF videos. It's just not on the table right now. I'm not focusing on anything but Bert right now. But I did get this. I found this guy um, in my tribute to him on Facebook. Somebody posted an article they found. It was the very next day. And it was really cool because someone took the picture I used for our tribute on Facebook and used it in their news article. I don't know who's all seen this, but... It was really cool because even Ashley saw this, his daughter. And this picture is from him from like 20 years ago. Um, but this was a photo that I took with, sorry about the camera, I took with his phone. And we had just got to my Airbnb. And I had just stopped there to drop my stuff off. We were going to go have dinner. And we took uh, a picture. And I'll show you my photos. This was with his phone. You can see how happy I am there. And he was so happy there, too. He didn't have a whole lot of problems when I first met him, um, you know, like physically. Like, he had a sciatica and a lot of joint pain. But that, you know, just a little bit, you know, at that time. And then that was it, you know. And then it just seemed like every year after that, he just, there's there was always something that was going wrong, you know, for him. And I'll have to admit, I have seen a lot of the last videos of him, not just the Christmas in rehab, which that's his last performance, um, so if you're searching and you're looking, Christmas in Rehab, the little short video that Rosie, that he did at Rosie's house, I think. Rosie's his assistant. They were working together. He was writing. He was using her, her house, I think, um, or studio or whatever. And he was over there a lot. And they were going to do a podcast together. They were going to, he was, I don't know what all they were doing, but they were, he was, he was like he was trying to come back, you know. He was trying to get there. And then this happens. I don't know why. But anyway, there was an article underneath those pictures. And maybe some of you saw it. I printed it just because 
you know, in case it would disappear. It's just basic stuff that everyone already knows about him. It was just, you know, like three, four paragraphs. I'm not reading the whole thing. Um, but that's what that was. So I declare in the fan community, as I, I declare that December 28th, and that's the day he did die, December 28th will now be known as Burt Wilson Remembrance Day in the fan community. I start that. I don't know if anyone else will do it, but I say it is. <laughs> so there. <laughs> um, so, all right, we're up to 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos. I'm just going to, like, try to get through stuff. I want to talk about him. I want to talk about some funny things, things I've learned. Um, and hopefully there's things that you didn't know. This is going to be the end of part one. I want to get this out so people will know what's going on with me and at least get an update on... I think I'm going to... I'm not going to know if I'm going to post a video every day, but I may. So just stay tuned and, and just tune in and we're, we'll get through this. Um, so leave condolences and any comments or questions if you want to follow me on Facebook. Um, you know, it's Victoria Culp. Um... And then we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks.